Morning. Hello oh, and welcome to my daily vlog of life on our beef and arable farm here in South Yorkshire where it's foggy, it's not raining, things are great. Um, today I'm going to go and pick some cattle up. Uh, John Deere Mick is coming with me. First of all we've got to fill the lorry with some straw because um, the place that I go I always take them a bit of straw just to help the job along and um, yeah we're off into, now let me get this right, uh, Shropshire? No, not Shropshire, just a minute. Yeah, Staffordshire, that's it, Staffordshire, that's where we're going. I don't know where I'm going, honestly. <laughs> I just can't remember the name of the counter. Right, we'll get this opened up so we can get the straw in. Oh, this is inside our lorry. Every time we use it, we wash it. Just to keep it clean and looking nice, but there is a proper reason. So for um, disease control, so anything that goes in here can't pick something up from another batch of cattle that have been in there before or previous so um yeah it's just little things like that make a difference over the year um in just keeping the cattle healthy and happy i suppose so right let's get this straw in the back of here taking some good straw and not this stuff that um, we got out yesterday it's a bit old in the background there, but um, Andy will just put more of it out today, but get it used up because um, it's still good straw, but it just don't look too pretty, that's all. So we're going to get some pretty looking straw. All the chest pieces, TM320S, that'll have to come out so I can get the 9 meter, which um, I'll be able to put the spikes on. Great, so we will get on our MX straw grab. I should have done all this last night really, but you know what, I didn't, I didn't. Uh, 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 there we go. Right, put the pipes on, we'll get some straw from the stack. So there she is, we'll get those three bales. And yes, only three bales will fit in that gigantic wagon. Because too wide to go in this way, so we have to put them in long ways and then just keep pushing them in. And it's down here bedding up. And Connor, morning Connor. <laughs> um, so yeah, we decided to get some from actually inside the shed because they looked a bit wet then. Put them down. We got some new ones on. Getting picked up like that, and then we'll put them into the lorry. Where are we, Mick? He's trying to run away then. Oh, all right. Morning. <laughs> morning. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Good. Yeah. to uh, my new cameraman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you didn't get your fingers in shot this time though, did you? I but I ain't well, checked it to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so we got them all in now. Um, they're right to the front pretty much. Um, and we can get on our way. We're all ready to go. Mick, Mick's got his sandwiches, he's come prepared. Stacey's sorted job out. Oh, oh have I got some at all? Oh, got uh, nice. So we are off. Sorry, in front. Oh, start again. <laughs> Starting again. We're ready, mate. Yeah. We're on it. Um, this lorry in front's got like a washing line along the middle of it. So what's all that about? Exit the roundabout onto Abbey Hill. I think he's got a laundry somewhere. <laughs> Continue on A38 for three miles. A dryer mat. <laughs> <laughs> I have honestly got no idea, but I'm sure somebody in, in, uh, in comments will know. I think he's for a job, really, like. But, uh, yeah. Pulled up anyway because we were, we were debating and debating whether we were stopping for a bacon sarnie, but anyway, mixed. I think it's twisted my arm. It's yeah. be eating well, Mick. It didn't you know? take much twisting, I'll tell you. So we've stopped off at the Riverside Calf. Just saying that looks like a, another pub that's gone by the wayside. And, I, and now we're reminiscing saying um, the pubs in the local area have shut down. There's only two in your village. There's two, but yeah. I think in our, in our village where the farm is, there's one I know there might be three or four actually so a few micro pubs have popped up two pubs and then some clubs in our village yeah but night clubs are still a good two or three gone like at least it means work like working men clubs but um 
yeah, it just seems to be a way of things, doesn't it? it uh, I don't know if it's like TV. I don't know. People well, got more. People like rather go for a coffee or something yeah. than a drink, wouldn't they? Nowadays, Probably, I think. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Is this, oh, I'm guessing it's the same way everybody else lives. It's not just in our area. A little lad waving through through uh, his uh, house window at us. I don't know if that's just because he's a lorry or if it's because he's a subscriber. I don't think he was a subscriber. <laughs> we're about three years old. I don't think he, I don't think he knows if we're him. <laughs> I think it just because a big uh, green lorry were parked yeah, outside yeah. his house. Truck outside my house. But um, we've... Um, We've just stopped off because I always pass this tractor place. See, as I've got Mick with me and he loves tractors, we'll um, we'll have a quick look. So it's Farnham tractors, Kubota and Deutsch. Lots and lots of Deutsch for loads of them. One wheel loader on here. You're going to tempt you, Mick. It's green. It's still green, you know. Oh, we're nearly there. <laughs> Oh, not on with grey top. Mm, it's a dinky one, isn't it? It's like a stockman tractor, like national. It's a bit low, isn't it? Be a long way. Yeah. Don't even come with like a PTO cover guard. Unless one bolts on. Mm. Oh. Handy little tractors, really. What do we reckon? One more 95 horse? Oh, uh, we yeah, that we first think. One. Yeah. I think that's 105. That was 70. Yeah. This is a hundred horse. No, we looking at Yeah. Like a lower lower cab or something. It sits a lot lower, doesn't it? And John Deere going past now, look. Um. Mm. Yeah, it's tidy. Key line. That's a 5090. And I thought, oh, it was a different cab, but that's got a different body altogether. Unless it's newer or something. I don't know. That's got ad blue, hasn't it? This one, am Yeah. That one's a bit, a bit flashier inside, isn't it? Hmm. Tina's wind has gone on over. We ought to get rid of it. <laughs> get a Deutsch for Andy on Strobo. So Andy, if you're watching, let me know tomorrow if that's what, um, if that's what you want as a replacement. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking that's a Kubota, but it's a Coyote. Yeah. 50 20. That's your Kubota. Yeah, Kubota over there, look. Not a lot of difference, is there? We're topper on. <clears throat> Speedy Gonzalez in that. It's a bit different to 8RX I were uh, looking at <laughs> over there. <laughs> yeah. It's nice. I think Kubota looks a bit nicer, though. Bit nicer inside. Be handy little tractor for somebody that implements as well, so like grass aerator, muck spreader, straw blowers, Andy, new straw blower for Andy. Uh, yeah. Nice little tractor dealership. Check them out if um, you need a Deutsch fart and you're in, um, oh, I want to say, I'm not sure if we're in water, 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 water stuff. Water. No, water houses, water, water houses. houses. That's yeah, that's it. So, right, we're going to have to get on and pick up these cattle because we're going to be late. So, um, yeah, we'll get a bit further down the road. So, this is, uh, where, it get, so this is where it gets a little bit tight, Mick. We've gone, we've gone down the lane for about a mile or so. Now we're into the hairpins. When you're coming up, you need to uh, you need to keep going because it's a bit steep. It is nice down here, though. This is where it gets particularly tight because there's a wall at once. And we've actually took edge back. Which, which <laughs> you're not nice kidding. Here. It looks like an expensive place to start running into it, so we'll try his best not to. Yeah, it's lovely around here. It's definitely not, uh, definitely not where we're I think he's catching the mirror doing that. <laughs> yeah, to tickle him a bit. Oh, I think this is where this is where Pond did, I think. I said some fountains, I think he's just run off from Pond.
And I don't, I don't go for his shooting RL, but that just looks like an idyllic place. I don't know if it is or not, but it looks fairly nice to me. Got here, we'll get these bales out of the back of this wagon. This one's fairly easy. So then put a strap on this one. Yeah, what you see? There's a squirrel in there. Good treat. <laughs> Some nice uh, cows and calves up there. They were all over the field, but they've gone up that end, so whether they're getting a bit of feed, I don't know. So can you see, can you see send farming round here then, Mick? No. <laughs> nice to get back up. He likes getting his plough out and his yeah, tractor. Yeah, he can't plough around here. <laughs> well, we're back in South Yorkshire now. Looks like our Ben's here. And we'll get these cattle dropped off and they can get in their nice freshly bedded yard with some silage. I wonder what's going off down here. So oh, behind me, we've got a new pickup in the yard, but my head is gonna sh shelter what it is completely until tomorrow. So you'll get to find that out. But if you wanna have a little guess from what you can see right now, then uh, let me know in the comments. But yeah, we've got a brand new pickup just behind me, which we'll take a more in-depth look at tomorrow. And I'm trying my best to hide most of the back so you can't really work it out. Or maybe you can, I don't know. Say that it, you probably won't guess. I think you'll be surprised at what it is. Would be my thing to say. Cryptic. But we're getting these guys are vaccinated now. So some of these are some of the ones that we fetched in the other day from the water and some of them are from today. So we're just getting on with that now. While I was doing that, me and Ben will clean up around here. You didn't get to see the pickup, did you? Um, and I'll jump on the TM and pull that through. We're just getting all this muck tidied up now. It has got mucky over these wet few days. Hopefully make the place look a bit tidier. It's been a bit of a morning out, Mick, hasn't it? Yeah, or longer. So he's going to go and have a peer at our new not telling anybody truck. The new machine you've got. Mm. Go and have a look at it. I'll be the first to look at it today. You'll know. But don't be telling everyone in comments tonight. <laughs> right, well. <laughs> I'll get you some merch, mate. See you in a bit. So we're putting these new gates that Andy put on to keep the cattle back. And then they've also took out the wall in here and made it into one massive pen. Put the gates in, the wall down at the bottom, and then this is one huge pen so we can get all these in. Were there a lot of rats came out, Andy? Hey, a few, were there? Did you get any? Who was the champion? Pip. Did you? <laughs> Brutal. Just been on cleaning out water troughs. That's what Connor's doing down there. Just getting the last of the water out. Then we're going to put some new troughs in for these guys. So they've got plenty of room to start feeding. And he's on just starting a mix. We're gonna get this day ended, so got a bit of tidying up in there. Like you eat your dinner off it, but it's a lot better than what it was. Right, Ben's just on undoing this silage. We'll pick it up and we can only take off the net wrap. Ben's feeding around with the TM, so I'll go and let him in some of the gates. He's off to Devon now, it's finishing early. What exciting piece of equipment did you get yesterday? You got a multi-gym. You got a multi-gym to pump some iron. Either. Pumps. <laughs> did you get on it? No. Did you not? Did you just for carrot? Yeah, I don't want to do 
Andy's not getting into where he's a real man. I'm glad you're back to um, Yeah, have fun in Devon. Don't stress about your lodges too much. We might have a stre we might have a stressful lodge update when Andy comes back. Possibly. Anyway, he's off. Ben's feeding these. Who <laughs> stop rubbing on there? Hey, pushing my gate open. time again where we try and raise a little bit of money for Yorkshire Air Ambulance and you get to get your name in the video whether it be a happy birthday whether it be a bench whether it be whatever you want basically as long as you get a little bit of money to these guys through the just giving link and then I can read it out the the, the next day basically so we've got a happy birthday to William Salmon um, and we've got a happy birthday to Chris Barrett, who is 70. And now this is from a few people. So he's from Stuart, Sean, Poppy, Arthur, Pete, Rosie, Freddie and Charlotte. And they say that they're going to see you, Chris, on Sunday. So, um, yeah, 6,000, I can't remember, nearly £6,900, I think, we've raised for Yorkshire Ambulance so far just by doing that, which I think is absolutely mind-blowing. Like, um, that people want to donate. Well, it's not mind-blowing that you want to donate to Yorkshire Air Ambulance because it saves people's lives all across. But, like, by donating through the video, is it's is mind-blowing. Um, but this is now the point where I'm going to go because Andy's already gone. Connor's just gone. We are finishing dead early today. Um, and Ben is nowhere to be seen so maybe he's gone as well i don't know um but if you've liked today's video remember to press the like button uh, subscribe if you've not already and then i'll do a little merch plug now if anybody wants any of the hats or the um hoodies and bits and bobs like that then get your orders in now um and i well i'll get you requested and then i can put an order in if there's any out of stock items that you might require so anyway that's it Thank you very much for watching. As I said, and probably a million times, like, I really appreciate everyone who watches the channel. Like, it's the hobby that I never knew I wanted to have, and I love it, and I love the interaction and comments, and it makes the days go flying by. So, um, yeah, thanks again. We'll see you later. Bye. Everything's tucked away in the shed, even the pickup that's just under the... over there. <laughs> yeah, so remember to answer in the comments what you think that might be.